better use of our water and return the river to a healthier environment. Kevin Rudd and Penny Wong have the nerve to try and defend in Parliament the extraction of 75 billion litres uh, that would never reach the South Australian border, let alone the lower lakes. And it is now approved by a government now acting out of desperation in considering the weir as a viable option. Mr Rudd couldn't even get the name of the lower lakes right last year. He kept on calling them the Coorong Lake. Well, Mr Rudd, there is no such place. Of course he can't get it right. He's not going to come here today. He's not going to come and see and hear what the devastation or flooding of the lake and seawater will do. I was at the lake yet again, only two days ago. And in two weeks, I'll see Mr Rudd in Parliament and try and make sure that he's aware of this problem. We must demand that he explains to the lower lake communities and the agricultural and tourism industries in which they survive how their lives will be changed forever if the weir went ahead and the seawater comes in. Why is the Murrumbidgee and Murray High Security Irrigators receiving 95% of their allocation but South Australians receive only 18% at best and if you're below lock one, you're lucky to get in any at all. We must stop the weir. We must oppose flooding and killing the lakes with seawater. And we must demand more water for South Australia. And we must stop flooding and killing the lakes forever with seawater. Thank you.